In ufology, Nordic aliens are humanoid extraterrestrials purported to come from the Pleiades who resemble Nordic Scandinavians. Professed contactees describe them as typically male, 6 to 7 feet tall with long blonde hair, blue eyes, and skin tones ranging from fair to tan. Ufologist George Adansky is credited with being among the first to claim contact with Nordic aliens in the mid-1950s, and scholars note that the mythology of extraterrestrial visitation from beings with features described as Aryan often include claims of telepathy, benevolence, and physical beauty. A group of Asian or Nordic humans who, sources say, discovered a vast cavern system beneath the Gobi Desert region and surrounding area thousands of years ago, and have since established a thriving kingdom within, one that has been interacting with other planetary systems up to the present times. Extensive cave systems under Tibet are alleged to link the Agarthi systems of Central Asia to the world of serpents, the multi-level cave system beneath the slopes of the southwestern Himalayas, where Nagas, according to the Hindu legend. Here, a cult of the serpent by human and reptilian collaborators dwells, one of which has been said to have had contact with the Nazi Thule society during World War II. They say that a long time ago, an Asian prince led several militant followers, warrior monks, to the caves, and came into conflict with this cult of the serpent. After the conflict, the reptiles and collaborating forces were expelled. However, in recent centuries, they have recovered some land. Souza's teacher, as the leader of Brazil's Theosophists, had for years been interested in the Agarthi legend, and the more he thought about the underground kingdom and its network of tunnels, and how it was possible for someone to use them without a very special form of transport, more it was concluded that flying saucers were the answer. That the underground inhabitants were an advanced people seemed beyond doubt, so if they were able to live and thrive beneath the surface of the earth there was no doubt why they should not have developed a much more sophisticated form of transport than anything known on earth. And the way it vary, in 1957, the ideas of D'Souza and Strauss were carefully examined by a writer named O.C. Houdinian in a book called From the Underground World to Heaven Flying Saucers. After declaring that the hypothesis of the extraterrestrial origin of the flying saucers does not seem acceptable, Huganian wrote, We must take into account the most recent and interesting theory that has been offered to explain the origin of flying saucers. The existence of a large underground world with countless cities where millions of people live. This other humanity must have achieved a high degree of civilization, economic organization, and social cultural and spiritual development, together with an extraordinary scientific progress, in comparison with those that the humanity that lives on the surface of the earth can be considered as a race of barbarians. According to the information provided by Commander Paulo Strauss, the underground world is not limited to caverns, but is more or less extensive and located in a hollow inside the earth large enough to contain cities and fields, where humans and animals live whose physical structure resembles those of the surface. Huganian then describes how these people, long before the rest of humanity in terms of scientific development, machines called Vimanas that flew in the sky in tunnels like airplanes, using a form of energy that is obtained directly from the atmosphere devised. They were, he says, identical to what we know as flying saucers. For more information about the Agarians in detail, I'll leave you a link on the video description to buy the book called Extraterrestrial Compendium. There is both debate and consensus about many of the known extraterrestrial races, but seldom have they been revealed in this level of detail. The book features the Agarians to the Venusians and a great variety of races in between, including the benevolent Andromedans, weird insectoids, wicked Zeta Gray Reticulans and monstrous Siaka Draconian Reptilians. Pat Lee and his team of writers and artists combine research with a good dose of artistic license to bring the races to life. To the believer, curious or open-minded individual, the extraterrestrial compendium is fuel for further thought. A must-have for any fan of science fiction.